the Michelson-Morley experiment. So here's what they did. They said, all right, here's Earth. I'm going to measure the speed of light with the movement of Earth around the sun. Then I'm going to measure the speed of light against the movement of Earth around the sun. And if there is an ether out there, I ought to be able to show that the light added to Earth's movement, and I measure the speed of that, I'll get the speed of light plus the speed of the Earth. And coming back the other way, if I make that measurement, I'll get the speed of light minus the speed of the Earth. That makes complete sense. Of course it does. If you're riding in a, in a train, back then it would have been a train, not a car. You're riding in a train that's going 30 miles an hour and you send something forward 10 miles an hour, you add them, that object is moving 10, 30 plus 10, 40 miles an hour relative to the ground. Come back the other way and you throw it out the back end of the train, that speed will be 30 minus 10, 20 miles an hour relative to the ground. It's that simple. That's all they 